I mean, we're going to take two questions from the floor, and I believe Beth Carragher from the Ambit Group has, has sent one in for us. So Beth, um, could you stand up? And I, I might have, Beth, you'll forgive me, because I, I, we don't have a roaming mic, I might just repeat some of your question, but please do give us as uh, good as you can. Well, given my last answer, I'm a little worried about the recent American experience of social reconciliation, to be honest with you. So it can be a, a little bit of a what not to do guide. Um, no, I, I, what's so great about your question is that um, actually in these unusual connections, right, one wouldn't naturally think about uh, the question of the American Southwest border and naturally go to the border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. And yet, as soon as you laid that out, I thought, that's brilliant that, that a group of you went down to look at that, um, to look at the question of multiple identities, to think about both the physicality of that border space and the emotional and cultural and, and political uh, dimensions of it as well. And so I think, honestly, there is very much to learn. Um, one of the things that, in a way, is most important is to recognize that, at the end of the day, belonging to a community and having an identity as part of that community can derive from multiple different sources. It does not simply have to derive from citizenship or your place of birth. It does not have to simply derive from uh, ethnicity uh, or religion. It can derive from common purpose. It can derive from... Uh, you know, a set of values. It can derive from, uh, you know, teamwork towards a particular end. And that has always been what has been most compelling about the American story from our founding. And the president, President Biden, always says that, you know, the United States was, was founded on this very basic idea that all people are created equal, that they were endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among them the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's the opening of our Declaration of Independence. And it, if you zoom out from that and basically look at these issues um, relating to particularly what you're focused on, which is how to operate in border communities where there is this, the, the stresses and pressures of multiple identities, where the question of belonging and reconciliation are so acute and personal recognizing that constructing a community ultimately derives from being able to say, what, what is it? What are the elements that make us that community? That is what has fueled America at its best. I think it's something, it's an experience that we can share with the world, but also increasingly as we face a lot of the pressures that other countries have that we haven't as much in the past, we can learn more from the experience of Northern Ireland than um, and, and other uh, societies that have been grappling with these, these questions in, in a much more pressurized environment. Um, because frankly, uh, and this goes back to this, this you know, I, I wrote this article about a new concept of American exceptionalism. The old concept really was kind of, we're different and completely special. I think the new concept has to be actually, you know what, um, we do, we are a country founded on ideas and values, but fundamentally a lot of our more recent experiences have echoes and reflections in the experiences of people around the world, and we can learn from them too. Thanks, Jake. I think that idea of like a shared journey, whether it's in terms of renewing democracy or in in dealing with social reconciliation, and that yeah, that we're we're all on this journey together is is a, a important point. I'm going to give the last question to Chris Brown, who's a Whip alum, who I think has a question about leadership uh, skills and the skills that people could learn. So, Chris. Hi, Jeff. Morning, Jake.